Welcome back, everyone. Great to be here, as always, for another Integrative Health Coach Success Podcast, episode 98. So if you're looking for all of the links from today's show, as well as my top three takeaways, head on over to ihp.coach forward slash 098. I almost gave you the big link, but it's ihp.coach forward slash 098. We are quickly approaching our 100th episode of the Integrative Health Coach Success Podcast. Really excited because next week we have Julia on this Thursday with her amazing interviews that she does every Thursday. Then on episode 100, I have a kind of state of the union that I'm going to be giving, so don't miss that one as well. My shows are on Mondays. And then episode 101 will be a surprise interview that I can't wait to share with you as well. So we've got a big next two weeks on the Integrative Health Coach Success Podcast. Uh, The show has just been growing tremendously week by week and uh, month by month. And that's that's obviously how we like it because we don't advertise. uh, We don't promote it really. We just simply say, Listen, if this is helpful, share it with other people, use the information, allow it to enable you to grow. And um, that's what it's all about. I mean, it really is. So uh, again, once again, thank you. If you haven't left a review for the show yet, we would love you to do that on uh, whatever media player you listen to it on. And it could be iTunes, Spotify, Google Play, et cetera, et cetera. Amazon Music now. All right, let's get into the show though, because that's why we're here. So You know, we've been doing a lot of work with IHPs and other health coaches on creating websites. And so behind the scenes, very quietly, we've been partnering uh, with a amazing design firm that does it all. Basically, they integrate all parts of the website, email, scheduling, SMS, text, um, you know, beautiful page design, mobile ready, you name it. And so I've been chatting with them because I know the I know the owner, I know the founder, and he's a, a genuine guy. He's a really good guy. And so we went out to dinner and we just said, listen, we have so many amazing people, and there's a lot of barriers for them to be to get new clients because to be honest, they're not necessarily designers, web builders, copywriters, etc. And so when they create a website, it's not exactly what a client is looking for. And so you know, I asked for tips. I said, Hey, what do you recommend? What have you seen work the best? Cause I love talking with experts. I mean, that's the bottom line. So what I did was I took his advice and then I combined it with what I know works from doing this for uh, over 20 years now and having a website. I personally had a website since 2002. Okay. StephenCabral.com came about somewhere around 2002, somewhere like late 2001 late 2002, right around there, somewhere right around there. It's hard to remember this 20 years ago, right? And so at first my website was terrible uh, and then it got better. I mean, that, that's, basically the, that's, <laughs> that's basically it, right? We all live and we all learn. But what I, what I want to pass on to you is if you can do it right the first time, if you don't have a website or you're able to make the edits, that's what I recommend. And <clears throat> I'm going to give it to you all, I really am, but I want you to ask yourself these questions, okay? So what do you want your website to convey? All right, I hope that when you use this podcast, you use it almost like journaling, that you actually write down the questions because you're going to get the best results that way. So what do you want to convey to people? That's that's basically it because it's it's your calling card. I've got what? I've got a business card right here from uh, a bank that I uh, that I use. And I went in and, uh, you know, really nice guy was just dropping off some checks. That's it, dropping off a couple checks uh, and uh, Amazon checks for my book. And I said, hey, here you go. And, um, and it was a new location, so I just grabbed the person's card. And that was, that's basically their business card. And that's all that you have, right? So if you meet someone, maybe you give them a business card. We talked about that a few weeks back. But, you know, really, what are you doing? You're sending them to your website. You're sending them to your social media, all right? So we'll be talking about social media in the future. We're going to continue to refine that. But the bottom line is that social media is not a professional website. So your Facebook page or your Instagram page, I mean, those are the main places. Certainly you could obviously have a TikTok, et cetera, Twitter, et cetera. But what are they really doing? They're going to a profile, right? What are they looking for in the profile? Your name, what it is exactly that you do, a little professionalism, and then what are they doing? They're going to your website, right? So at the end of the day, whether you have a one-page website or you have a multi-page website, 
And you have to convey something. So what are you looking to convey? And I'll kind of come full circle on this. So don't you don't have to answer it fully, but I would love for you to say, what do I want to convey to people? And that's essentially, what do you want them to know, right? So what do you want out of your website? That's the biggest thing to me. So what do you want to convey to people? And then what do you want? So what do you want your website to do? And it should really only do one thing when you're a health coach. And I'll tell you exactly what that is in just a moment. Um, once you start to maybe build out a team or you're an influencer online, meaning like you can actually make a living, like let's say you're making uh, thousands of dollars per month as an influencer. Okay, well, that that's an actual you know business. It really is. But if you're making you know $50 a week, I, I don't, I wouldn't consider that a business. I mean, I just I wouldn't. It's a it's a fun extracurricular activity is what it is, you know, if you're making $50 a week. I'm not saying that you shouldn't do that because the $50 could turn into $250 a week and that's $1,000 a month and that's real money, right? So again, I'm not saying not to do that, but in the beginning, when you're starting out, know what you want out of your website, all right? That's the bottom line. So what do you want when people land on your website? What do, you, what do you want that to happen? Like, what's your website for, right? So what do you want your clients to know about you? Okay, so that's a part of your website, okay? What are you trying to convey? What do you want out of it? What do your clients want to know about you? So like, what, why you, right? So why you? What makes you different? Okay, you have, to, you have to be able to answer that, all right? And then what if you could only share one benefit? I love this question. So, you know, when I talk with the, the founder of that, that design firm, they gave me a lot of design elements, which I loved. But they kind of leave it up to you to do this, these types of questions. That's why I'm asking you these. So I say this, you know, you, you, when someone mentions their business. And I talked about this, I talked about this in business mastery. Oh, sorry, the business mentorship experience. And I basically said, uh, and I, and actually, did we do this last week in the podcast? Let's check this out because I'd love to be able to link that up for you as well. And maybe on episode 94, but basically you want to be able to come up with an elevator pitch. So it's a, it's a quick 30 second you know, pitch when you meet someone. And it's not even really a pitch. It's just say, someone asked me like, hey, what do you do? I said, oh, I'm a, a doctor of naturopathy, integrative health practitioner. I help people figure out the underlying root cause of whatever their wellness, weight loss, or aging issues are. And then if they're like, oh, that sounds interesting. How do you do that? I say, oh, I actually send at-home lab tests that look at people's gut health, their hormones, their omega-3s, their food sensitivities, and their heavy metals. And then I share with them whatever they're deficient in, and then whatever they have too much of, their toxicities, and help them rebalance that with protocols. And like, oh, that's really interesting. What's your website? That's basically how a conversation works when you meet with someone for the first time, if they're genuinely interested. And you have to make it sound interesting. So again, if you want to use exactly what I do, if you're an IHP level two, well then just, or even if you're a level one, because you can still use an equal life coach, uh, or maybe you work at a wellness center. So just rewind that and, and repeat it over and over to yourself. And again, that's just off the top of my head because it should be natural, but that's your elevator, bit, uh, elevator pitch. So the, then the bottom line is then, well, how do we make that even easier? So when people land on your website, because you don't even have 30 seconds when someone lands on your website, they're in and out in five seconds if they don't see what they want. So now somewhere at the top of the page, you need to have an engaging image and essentially a main benefit of working with you. And I know that that doesn't seem fair and I get it, but that's also where you're trying to warm them up on social media, right? Or you warm them up when you meet them at, you know, your kid's school or a dog park or whatever it might be, right? And, and that's so they'll maybe give you 10 seconds or 15 seconds or they'll go to your about you page, right? So the bottom line is this, like, what's that one benefit? So the one benefit of working with me is you're going to get a precision, personalized plan. So I am going to help you by looking at your lab results. And I'm going to customize your plan based on that. That's what you get. That's the difference. Now, then I can back that up with, I've done this now for many, many years, et cetera, et cetera. But um, that's, that's the difference. That's the benefit. Okay, that's the main thing. And I make it easy because we can work together anywhere in the world, right? So when I had a Boston practice, you had to fly in to see me. That, that was basically it for the wellness center. And if you were a personal training client or nutrition client, yeah, some people came from out of state, but not too many, right? Not too many to get set up with a program. Most people lived within five miles. So you have to understand is that you have to know your audience, what your benefit is. And, you know, if you're the best nutritionist in Boston, well, it's, that's, that's what it is. I specialize in helping uh, Boston residents transform their body and their life through sound anti-inflammatory nutrition plans, right? So it's like, get that main benefit to people. All right. So that, that's how you're different. All right. So, and then let's say that again, they give you that extra 10 seconds. 
Then share what's different, like one thing about you. So I just kind of shared that, but it, it has to go deeper because you have to make a connection with people. So the reason why I believe that I might be the best person to help you is because I went through the same thing you're suffering from as well. I spent 10 years going from doctor to doctor, uh, medication to medication, you know, natural health to natural health-based protocol, and nothing seemed to work for me. I didn't get better, or if I got better, I would relapse. I would get better, think I was well, and then I would relapse. And then what I figured out was that the truth to helping people heal is never in any one modality. If someone's really sick, just doing acupuncture is going to be difficult to help them heal. It, doing chiropractic is going to be just probably not the only thing. Doing herbs is probably not going to be the only thing. Fixing their diet is not the only thing. Exercise is not the only thing, right? So what I found was that all of those are amazing and they can be used, but there has to be one program that's truly holistic. A lot of people say they're holistic, but they don't encompass many different types of modalities. So with me, what you can be assured of is that I always keep an open mind. I'm always up on the latest research. And I use a multifaceted approach that combines diet, diet, exercise, stress reduction, tox removal, rest, emotional balance, scientifically backed supplements, and a success mindset. So, you, so I'm just walking them through how I'm different. Okay, so basically people need to connect with you when they get to your website. They need to know what it is that you do, like why are you there? And then also, how are you different? Like how are you gonna be different from the last 12 people that they work with? Because remember, they've worked with a lot of other people or they've read a lot of different diet books. They've tried other diet plans. They've worked with other personal trainers. They've used nutritional supplements. How are you going to be different? And you have to state that. Okay. You have to state it. So a lot of people say, well, I don't want to brag and I don't want to talk highly about myself and all these things. Listen, I get it. You can do it in a way that's reasonable. That's not egomaniacal. And the truth is that other people are going to do it. So you better do it as well. Like, that's the thing is like, I never used to like to get online and, and talk about what I do and, and a products that I think would be helpful. But the truth is other people are going to do it. And I don't believe some of them. Yes, but not everybody. And the vast majority they're using really, you know, cheap products and they, their protocols don't make sense. They're you know, trying to do a whole detox based on one product zeolite. And then people ask all the time, like, hey, can I just use zeolite? Like, no, you can't just use zeolite to detox your body. Okay. It's great. I have no problem with zeolite. Fantastic. Is it documented to be a full, complete functional medicine detox protocol that helps ramp up phase one and phase two liver support? No, not at all. Can it be a mild chelator of heavy metals? Yes. Is it clinically proven, something like blending Craxel chlorella, cilantro, vitamin C, and biofilm disruptors? No, not even close, right? So it's like, you have to understand, is I have to shout louder because I know that we're not doing this based on hearsay or our favorite product of the week. We're doing this based on actual scientifically-based protocols. So again, don't be afraid to get yourself out there and speak up because uh, with your education, your knowledge, your commitment to your craft, people deserve to work with you. That's the truth. Like they're, you're going to get them better results. Okay. All right. So now I'm going to give you, um, now I wanted you to answer those questions, but now I'm going to give you basically the secrets. Okay. I want to give you everything. That's what we do in this podcast. And then that's the truth is because I want all of you to be successful. That's the bottom line. And you being successful doesn't take anything away from me. That's kind of what we all have to understand. And I'm going to be talking about more, that more in episode 100, so please do stay tuned for that. But, <clears throat> you know, again, um, again, I want you to be successful because you're spreading the mission of real health, uh, true health done the right way, in my opinion. And many of you are integrative health practitioners, Then, and I know what you're teaching, and I believe in that wholeheartedly, and and that's just the way that it is. So let's just give you exactly what you need to do. You have to understand, it doesn't matter what service business you're in. It does not matter. Personal trainer, chiropractic, acupuncture, naturopathic doctor, integrative health practitioner, certified health coaches of any kind, anyone, massage therapist, all roads on your website need to lead to one thing. And if, I, if you can take this as a takeaway, you are going to be automatically more successful. Your website is going to sign up more people and you're going to, meaning like to connect with you and you're going to then uh, be able to have more clients. All right. All roads lead to a free consultation. It does not matter to me what you're doing right now and how successful it is. Please try this. Please add this. I did this 
from the very, I learned this, okay? I learned this from the very beginning of my nutrition and personal training career. I was 18 years old in college, helping to pay for college, buy my books, and I loved exercise anyway. I did personal training. Trying to get people to sign up for personal training, having never met you, or nutrition, not easy, okay? Offering to help someone for free for the first session takes down all those barriers. Every single page on your website, this is another big tip, every single page on your website has to lead to a free consultation every single page. If you are not doing that, you are going to be much more wildly successful. That's it. And then you have to convince people still to do a free consultation with you, even though it's free, believe it or not. So you need to show them the value of that free consultation on the free consultation page where they're going to contact you or even better, automatically schedule with you. But I'm going to share that uh, in about two weeks when I talk about your automated software that you need on your website. It should all be automated. If you're editing your website on a daily basis, that is not a good use of your time. Okay, the bottom line is you should create your website and then forget about it. How often do you need to print business cards? That's about how often you need to update your website. Honestly, you don't need to. You really don't. I don't update stephencabral.com. I update it when I add a new, sure, podcast for the day, but the, the website itself is the same. It does what I need it to do. Now, again, your website is not going to look like stephencarell.com, but maybe it will five years from now. That's great, right? All my, my wellness websites and my studio websites before, I didn't, I didn't update them daily. That's just not what they're there for. They have to function properly, they have to function correctly. I offered a free consultation for forever. I mean, like literally, I had over 20 different practitioners under me uh, by the year 2017. 2016. Every single one of them got a free consultation, meaning like they all offered free consultations. I, my website, people came in, they filled out their form. I set them up with a personal trainer, nutritionist, massage therapist, whoever it is. And they came in and they met. Now, massage therapy, of course, you can go right to massage, but let's say you have an actual ailment and you want to talk about it, right? You can set that up. And these aren't long, Right. Well, for personal training, we did an hour, yes, because uh, we t we took them through a whole um, kind of like physical readiness. But uh, for a discovery call for a health coaching or chiropractor, or acupuncture, twenty minutes, and it can all be done virtually. All be done virtually. So the big takeaway is this: all le all roads don't lead to Rome, but they do lead to a free consultation with you. We'll talk about the automated software later. Okay, on a, on a next show in about two weeks from now. I think that'll be around episode 102, all right? So let me just put that right in my notes. And just again, stay tuned. Every week is something different. And we're gonna, just going to add off of each week. Software for website, all automated. And you can get all the software, like literally everything you need for like $50 a month. That might seem like a lot, but when you're charging and we teach people, how do you charge $180 or more for your monthly fee, you need less than, you need a fourth of a client to pay for that, right? And then it's done every month. All your email, all your text messaging, your web hosting, your URL, all of it's done, right? Okay, moving on. Well, because we'll talk about that in a couple weeks. So you have your homepage. I'm going to give you the pages you need in your website. People have so many pages on their website. And it goes back to this, not understanding the people that are landing on your website and what they want from you right? So if you know, as a practitioner of someone that has a service, it doesn't matter to me if you're a barber, right? What do they want? They want a haircut, <clears throat> a health coach. They want to work with you to learn how to get better. The personal trainer, they want to get in better shape, right? Whatever the personal training goal might be. Uh, physical therapist, they're injured. Chiropractor, back hurts. Acupuncturist, they're in pain, can't sleep. Like Again, I'm just giving you one example, but they're coming in for a problem. Show them you can help them with their problem by talking with them face-to-face, -face, either virtually or in person. The way that you do that is through a free consultation or discovery call. You can call it whatever you'd like, anything you want to call it, all right? So the problem is people have 100 pages on their website and like 15 different navigation items, like drop-downs. No, you don't want that because people are only there for one reason. You don't need to have everything you've ever done in your entire life on your website because it confuses people, because there's too many roads then that lead to the free consultation. So you are on a homepage that discusses all the different options, okay? And I'll show you examples. Um, I will show you examples. I can't do it yet 
We're, we're building all of this out as a template, and then you're welcome to use the template, or we can even help you build it, because we're looking at that in the future. I can't promise that. I'm not building it for you, but I can recommend the firm that we are using that's fantastic. So they're building some of our IHP and BME website, websites right now. I can't say that we're going to do that for a ton of people, probably like maybe like a couple of months, but I'll give you the template. Like I literally will show you the template and then you can decide uh, anything you want to do. Because again, we do try to give as much as we can away. So you want a homepage, what you offer. Your about page, it's your connection. That's about the story, all right? It's your story about what you went through and how you connect with others. People don't really care that you went to, you know, Vanderbilt University. They, they kind of don't really care, you know, to be honest with you. Because why? Because they want to know if you can help them. So unless your university specifically speaks to how you can help them, I'd go easy on your accreditations. Yes, they have to put them there, but go more on how you're different through your story. All right, uh, this is going a little long. I just noticed that, so hopefully it's good content. I will pull it together. Uh, then your coaching. Don't offer 15 programs. Offer one to two, three maximum. You never give someone more than three choices. All right, we have a programs page. This is more your semi-passive income where you're doing group coaching, virtually online for most people. Then you will have a learn section if you choose to. Not everyone will. This will be a couple articles you wrote that are evergreen. It might be a blog. It might be a video or three. It might be a podcast. It's If you want a learn section, that's what it will be. But again, all roads lead to the free consultation. Then you will have a shop, and that will be some of your favorite ambassador-based links because why not get compensated for promoting great resources that people are looking for? All right. And the last one is your free consultation. Your free consultation is what you want front and center flashing, right? Like a neon light, because that is ultimately what is going to lead you to working with more clients and helping them achieve their goals. All right, we're going to keep it at that for today. Um, by the time you listen to this, one of our example websites may already be up, and then you can see exactly what I believe the perfect website looks like because I've used this template for so many years, and we're just even cleaning it up, cleaning it up even more. So there's even less so the clients know exactly what to do. Head on over to ihp.coach forward slash 098 for all of today's show notes. Thank you so much, everyone. Stay tuned. We have so much more in uh, stock. <laughs> I don't know if that's the right word, but so much more to come over the next couple of weeks. Stay tuned, everyone. Take care. Have an amazing day.